everybody and welcome to Rosie's Tips. So today I'm going to make a Waldorf salad and I was inspired by this recipe from my friend Renee. She's one of my best friends ever and she lives in Las Vegas and she posted that she made this salad for a party that she went to. And I said, what a great idea. I go, why did I not think of that? That's an awesome, amazing, delicious, healthy idea. Except for the mayonnaise part, but I got that figured out. So, a Waldorf salad is basically just these five ingredients and the mayonnaise, which I'm going to make in a second, and I'll tell you guys about that. The Waldorf salad was created in the Waldorf Hotel in New York City around 1893, between 1893 and 1896 by a famous chef. Around 1928, it started appearing in the American cookbooks and that's how the Waldorf salad came about. And go and behold, this is like an all-American favorite um, salad, especially during the holidays. And I decided to make this because it mainly is raw ingredients, raw easy ingredients to put together and make if you're going to a holiday party and you don't really want to eat all the cooked food, especially if you eat raw like me and fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, you this is a great salad for you to prepare that tastes so delicious that everybody will enjoy whether they eat raw or not and it's healthy and you could enjoy it in the festivities as well. So we're going to get started and it's kind of very easy to remember because it's one cup of everything except a little bit of lemon juice, okay? So we're going to put it's one cup of diced celery in our bowl. I'm going to put all that in. One cup of um, little red grapes, seedless grapes. Um, I think this one has seeds because it's organic, but it's um, very tiny seeds. And I actually cut them in half because they were kind of big. So one cup of grapes. And it's optional, you don't have to put the grapes. Usually the basic recipe, when, they, uh, when it was invented, was uh, apples walnuts and celery, but the grapes were added and other fruits later. So you could um, add whatever you like or take out whatever you don't like. And you could use my friend Renee, love you Renee, <laughs> and miss you. She said you could use uh, pecans instead of walnuts as well. So we're going to put one cup of chopped uh, apples, organic apples, and put that in there. We're going to add one cup of soaked and dried walnuts. How I do that, I soak them overnight and then I uh, drain them in the morning, put them in the cookie sheet and put them in the refrigerator till dry and they dry up. Or you can put them in your dehydrator for a while or in your oven on warm with the door open so they could just get dehydrated a little bit dry and that's it. So either way works. So the refrigerator was fast and easy for me. So I have all my ingredients in there. I'm going to put a little bit of lemon juice, which I, when I diced up my apples, I put a little bit of lemon juice on them so they won't brown. So that's a good idea. So we're going to just toss this around. And very easy recipe, very healthy and delicious. There you go, there's the salad part. Now I'm gonna put this aside because now we are going to make the mayonnaise, the healthy. You're gonna need a high speed blender, so you definitely need your Vitamix. And I recommend everybody to get a Vitamix because it is a very essential tool when you're trying to eat healthy. I have the 750 Vitamix, it's amazing, really good, versatile and self-cleaning which is like my favorite thing. So a high speed blender, 
you're going to need one cup of soaked and drained um, cashews. I soak these for two hours. If you could soak them for four hours, even better. Because the longer you soak them, the softer they're going to be. And, um, you know, I forgot to get some water, so hold on. Give me a second. Tad bit of water in case I need that. Okay, so... It's uh, four ingredients, five if you count the water, and that's you might use it, might not. So it's going to be about a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice, a little pinch of salt, and you guys never see me use this because I hardly use it, but I keep it in the home and I do use it in a lot of recipes for my husband. And it's actually a olive oil, but it is organic, cold-pressed organic olive oil. If you're going to use olive oil, and it doesn't matter any brand that is organic and cold-pressed, it's the best olive oil to use. I won't use anything else. So cold-pressed organic olive oil when you do use it like I said I've been using it I usually don't use it for me or my recipes but I've been using it um, during the holiday season for recipes because I have family over and for my husband oil I would say about a tablespoon um, or as needed we're gonna see how the recipe goes sometimes I can make the same recipe once or twice I mean twice or three times and sometimes it comes different each out uh, different each time sometimes better sometimes not quite the same even though I do the same things but let's see we're gonna blend this up and see how To look you don't want it too watery and you want it definitely to uh, stand in a little peak like that because you want it you're gonna put it in the salad and you don't want it watery in there so I'm gonna taste now that is yummy oh very good very good oh I like that okay let's put this aside so we got our mayonnaise so that was not hard at all so now get our salad back and i tasted i didn't even taste the salt in there so you could go ahead and put more salt if you wanted a little bit uh savory more like i would say you probably could use a little salt and that's how it looks really pretty so now I'm gonna put it over the salad and then we're gonna take the salad and see how that came out oh, I have a spatula here already looks really really pretty there you go just like mayonnaise but a healthy fat not a bad organizes so let's see. I didn't put all of it. I want to see how it comes out with that much. Mix it all in there. It definitely, look, definitely looks like mayonnaise. And I don't need to put any more. I think this is enough. So I use the whole cup and I could jar the rest of that mayonnaise for something else if I like to use it on any other foods I could use it or things that I use mayonnaise in. But here you go. Waldorf salad. Looks delicious. Um, you could also put cranberries instead of the gray 
the grapes, you could put raisins, lots of things. So everybody adds their own touch to it. like this wow that tastes really good I would add maybe raisins cranberries also that would make it taste good I might add some cranberries too because it tastes super sweet but maybe not sweet enough for some people there you go Waldorf salad delicious and healthy so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to sprinkle some cranberries on it and take a picture. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. And if you like more recipes on how to stay healthy, eating fruits and vegetables in its raw form, please subscribe to my channel. And again, thanks a lot, you guys, for watching. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.